looks like it's recording. <clears throat> oh well, what the hell. Let's do an episode of Chew with Pete then. What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbies? Welcome to another episode of Chill with Pete. This totally unplanned episode of Chill with Pete. Chill with me in my studio. It is actually 10 minutes past 11 at night and I'm chilling in the studio. How awesome is that? Actually, Mrs. Minnie Warzone is out to her friend's birthday party, which is around at her house. I um, dropped him off. Um, dropped her and a friend off at, at her friend's house. Uh, so I thought, you know, this was a while ago now. I thought, I'll come out and do some hobby stuff. I've actually been helping my daughter with her cosplay stuff, doing stuff I've never done before. Um, making weapons and things, it's just kind of crazy. Incidentally, <clears throat> you know that monkey head my daughter made for me, the one I painted up and which several of you seem to like? Um, I've got her to make me another one, she's made me another one and she's also made me little, um, little clay pots and things to go around the uh, outside of the huts um, and a couple of shields which I'm gonna paint up and stick to the sides of uh, a couple of the huts just to make it a little bit more um, unique. So that's that's going to happen. I am going to have a go at doing one of the heads myself. It'll probably just turn into a, an obelisk. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to have a go at it myself. You know, what the heck. And, yeah, I've not long finished priming my 15 mil guys. The American Civil War. That I'm going to be using as a test piece to see how I get on painting 15 sorry it's, uh, which one do I look at it's not that monitor I've got like two screens and the camera um, so I'm a bit never know where to, I, should, I should put a little I might get a little sticker above the camera so I can always look at it maybe that's an idea so I've got one two three four five six seven eight I've got eight guys to paint up for the American Civil War they're Confederate, supposed to be um, Confederate foot soldiers. Well, one of them looks like a, a sort of captain or general or something. But I don't know. all my Congo is now kind of I don't know what you call it assembled and glued and prepped and stuff. So some of these guys are they're just waiting for the glue to dry on them now. So that's good. Um, yeah, my actual adventurers and other other guys, they're coming on, they're coming on. I'm liking I'm liking how they're looking. Um, got some base colours on on there, you know. They're coming on, they're coming on. Anyways, just wondering, is that on? Yeah it is. Oops. Bear with me, I'm just oh. I'm trying to get back to the top right. Right, let's get this a bit quieter here. Okay, whatever. Um, right, so let's talk about some stuff. Sorry for that little interlude of weirdness there. I was I was selecting options on my camera. Although you shouldn't be able to see that on your screen. Yesterday I went to Bournemouth. That was an interesting day. Very interesting day on excuse me if you will I've got a cup of willow bark tea here it really helps me with my uh, pains in my legs and so on so um, this is great for me uh, last two nights have been pain free uh, in bed so that's uh, works for me I'll have some of that <clears throat> so anyway we went to Bournemouth yesterday awful weather about a three hour drive I suppose from here you know, the weather was really bad, overcast, grey, terrible. But um, we didn't realise actually there's two universities there right next to each other. They're right next door and they're completely different from each other. So once we got to the right one, 
that's another story. <laughs> but once we got to the right one, we had a guided tour around, and it was really cool to meet one of the lecturers. That um, my daughter, you know, if she's successful, because uh, she wants to apply there, uh, would be working under. Oh, and they do. Because it's a really, it's 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 got one of the universities like the Bournemouth University, which does general stuff. Uh, it does a bit of media as well, but then the other one is the Arts University of Art, Bournemouth University of Arts. I don't know what it's called exactly. I'm sure someone will correct me, but <clears throat> they do all the arty farty stuff in there. And because she wants to do makeup and cosmetic stuff and um, prosthetics and all that kind of thing, I think her goal she wants. I think she wants to go like work in the film industry, that kind of thing. But anyway, but that's the course for her. They do they're one of the only ones in the country that do specifically what she wants. But while we were there, we discovered they do model making degrees and courses and some of the model making. <clears throat> if I had the money, I'd go back into education. I'd do a model making uh, degree. <laughs> Man, don't know what I'd do with it, but. Uh, Actually, working in the film industry would be good as well because I like models in films like Star Wars and things. I mean, C CGI is great, but for me, I think what looks best is models. To build models on a film set would be awesome, especially one like that. And especially now they're under Disney and um, they're going to be like going forever. So, <laughs> Star Wars films. Well, anyway. I'm digressing. I went, we went to Bournemouth University, um, my wife, my daughter and myself. We spent the day in Bournemouth and, and yeah, we had a good time, it was really good. And you know, we're really pleased. We, so that's, that Bournemouth is definitely going to be one of the ones that she's going to apply for. I'm excited for her. I hope it all goes well. She's going to put her portfolio together now and start doing that. Which she has started. But, uh, yeah, I mean, th their model making is like a, a league above everything you've seen on YouTube. Honestly, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, but anyway, <laughs> back to here. Um, so I've got Congo guys on the go, which is nice. Um... I've got these guys with the red because I'm trying to copy it roughly the same as what's on the on the book here. On the book. It's not a book, is it? That's a box. On the box here. You know what I mean, damn it. Yeah, trying to get it roughly the same as on the box, although I might have a look in the book a bit later, see if they've got any different colour schemes. Which uh, might be good. Ooh, and something arrived in the post today. I ordered. Ugh. Money's tight so I can only order little things. Space Marine Legs. I'm thinking of doing my own Space Marine chapter. Now I've got loads of bits, other bits like bodies and backpacks and heads and arms and all that. But not the legs. So, ten legs there. Ten pairs of legs. So I should be able to build ten Space Marines with the spare bits i got in my boxes behind me and stuff. So, the little boxes are in there, wherever they are. Oh, well, they're over there, sorry, over on my gaming table. Next to my gaming table. But, uh, hmm. Yeah, so, so that's going to be good. I'm looking forward to this um, whole Fall of Cadia business. So I'm going to be probably saving up and getting that, looking into that and seeing how, you know, what happens with the story. Um... Yeah, so that's that's gonna be good. This is what I like this time of night. I, I I I'm alone with my thoughts out here. It's nice and warm. Uh, the heat. I've just put it back onto timer because it got too warm. Uh, that's the thing. If I get too warm, it, it gets uncomfortable out here. But it's 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 nice to be warm and dry. <laughs> yeah. Cause it's Sunday tomorrow. So, Cause I'm filming this on the Saturday. I don't know when it will go up, but uh, yeah. 
So I'm looking forward to starting my 15 mil. So I'm going to have to look get some idea of um, colour schemes. Some of course, I, I know it varied a bit on the Confederates more. I think they're a bit more drab. And you couldn't always afford proper uniforms and stuff, so although well, a couple of them look like they should have decent uniforms, and I mean they're all wearing hats, so they can all be uh, pretty much the same. So that's yeah, and I've looked to see what I'll I'll see what is the main base coat area, and just just do the whole paint the whole mini, minis in that colour and then do my best to do the other base colours and then put them in a wash and hopefully that will be job done job to get in it's a shame with black powder that if you want to do the bigger scale uh, the bigger battles you have to go to 15 you know, if if you're like me and you have uh, and I, I say I have limited space but compared to others I don't I have I have a lot of space um, but I mean, there's not many people out there. I know, I know some of you do. Um, Cause I've watched you on YouTube. I know some of you have the space, but uh, most of you don't. Um, so it's a shame that you've got to go to 15. But then that said, it's a bit cheaper, I think. So I'm just saying my thoughts here. I think it's cheaper going 15 mil. I've ordered a 15 mil house. It's like a, I don't know if it's the right period or setting, but. Um, more to give me an idea of scale compared to uh, the figure and to see if I'm building something from scratch what size I'll need to make it or them and fences and things like that so it's going to give me an idea uh, a base start so that's good thankfully Congo is 28 mil and that's cool I like it um, it's taking me longer to paint up these figures than I thought it would. So there is that. But I'm really pleased with the way they're coming on. Um, I will do a, I'm going to be doing a, I'm looking forward to my next on the bench session because I've got a load of stuff I can do now. Whereas before I was kind of um, scratching the ground a bit, you know, seeing what, what can I do on, on the bench. I mean, I'm not at the stage yet where I can do anything like super fine detail work whilst rambling on and talking on camera. Not that good yet. I might never get that good, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I think I'm at that stage where I can, you know, I can do more than just um, building and priming. I can do base colours, which which I do sometimes. So I might have to do that with my 15 mil if possible. So I'm just going to group my figures together. Uh, so I'll put the camera down, you might be able to see it a bit better. So, ooh. Uh, move them over slightly. Yeah, so I'm just grouping these up. This was actually the free figure that War Games Foundry sent me. So I put him together. The shield and stuff. So all these guys. They're all dry now from whatever paints I was doing. I'm going to be priming these next I think. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I've got some work to do on, on these um, adventurers here. I did varnish them um, sort of halfway through yesterday what I was doing. Just created a bit of a save point so that you, otherwise the thing with metal is that's the thing one of the things with metal is it just the paint comes off rubs off and chips off so easily you just got to pick them all up put it down and you're like, oh, some paint's worn off already you know they're really prepared well they're rubbed down with um, like wire brushes and everything here so but yeah I'm going to get the, break out the primer in a minute and uh, prime these guys up and then I'll probably start working on putting those guys, these guys onto bases. Uh, now, so let's pop these back here. If you don't mind, I do a little bit of work while I talk. So we've got one, two, three, four, five guys with shields. 
And they are Young Warriors. Uh, obviously that the White Man Expedition has um, acquired hired hands or whatever. Over here. These are just um, bottle tops from water bottles I use. So I, I tend to buy bottled water because it's cheaper than tap water. Mm, seriously, you work it out. It depends where you live. Mind you, we, I live in the southwest of England where the water charges are the highest. So time you had your um, whatever it is I don't know, five pence per litre or whatever and then you add the sewage charge on top of that it actually works out dearer so I pay 17 pence for a two litre bottle so that isn't bad it's about so, 8.5 pence per litre which is cheaper than coming out the tap and disposing of it, obviously. But yeah, when you buy bottled water, you don't have to pay for it to be disposed of. Which anything coming to your tap is. Anyway, there's other good reasons for it as well, isn't there? more natural and better and all that sort of stuff and no additives and stuff tastes better as well I find makes a better tea hmm. so the glue's all dry on these I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do, uh, oh this is the pots by the way oh, I'm just uh, I know they're a little bit larger scale but um, they'll, they'll suffice they can be uh, all sorts of good stuff. That jug is a bit big, but hey, it's it's cool. It could be a centerpiece. These shields, these shields may be ready for priming because I sealed them. These pots are a bit um, still a bit wet. Oh yeah. I'm going to. This is almost like an on the bench, isn't it? I was filming some other stuff just now. Nothing to do with the hobby, actually. Now I realised that uh, my camera was still recording. So, what the heck? Chill with Pete. Because I happen to have a cup of tea with me anyway. Which is good. Right, I'll try and get this on without breaking it. Let's be very careful. Very careful, very careful. Yep. That'll do. That'll do nicely. And these pots can wait. It's just things that's going to add a bit to the eye when you look at the terrain. The reason I got it down here the camera it's better looking at my my mush here like this you don't want to see this all the time um, so yeah then I've got my legs I'm gonna be working on this is great you know I love working late into the evening like this especially when I find it hard to sleep so it's 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 good it's therapeutic I've heard so many of you say the same thing. I hear the same story over and over. Uh, it's really therapeutic, good for you. You find you um, can concentrate and do various activities better with the hobby. So there. Yeah, so that's me. I'm going to probably end it here. I don't think I've got anything else to talk about. Um... Don't think so, no. Um, 
other stuff like this will be on the bench stuff so uh, maybe I may record that might as well while I've got the camera set up here um, maybe maybe not anyway bye for now that's my chill see you on the next one all brushes lead to war